The tiger is perhaps the most majestic predator on our planet. But we've pushed this animal to the very edge of extinction. Two tigers are killed every week by poachers, often leaving their cubs alone to fend for themselves. Few make it to adulthood. These two abandoned cubs were lucky enough to have been rescued. But there are fewer than 4,000 tigers thought to be left in the wild today. The tiger is being forced to scrap for its very survival. Yet there is one country that could still pull it back from the brink. India. Nearly 60% of the world's tigers live here. Over the last few decades, the country has poured enormous resources into conserving its national icon. Now it's time to find out if these efforts have been successful or in vain. India is about to take count of its tigers in the largest ever wildlife survey anywhere in the world. Thousands of foresters will fan across the length and breadth of the country to gather evidence. Scientists will analyze the data, providing us with a precise tiger population for the very first time. And on the ground, Martin Hughes Games, an eminent wildlife campaigner and tiger expert. Every four years, the Indian government undertakes a count to check the health of the population of tigers. If the number's gone up, all well and good. If it's gone down, things are looking grim. Almost everywhere else, conservation efforts have failed. And if India has failed too, it could be the last we ever see of the tiger in the wild. At the last official count, India had 2,226 tigers. The latest, aimed at being more accurate than any in the past, has just been launched. For the first time, scientists will use cutting-edge technology to arrive at an accurate number of tigers in the country. They're hoping the days of human error and manipulation are over. New technology has taken over this headcount. So this image which you're taking is geotag? It's geotag. So it is. It cannot be faked, fudged or faked, no. and it's stored for posterity, yes. and it can be analysed. Scientists will use photographic evidence gathered through camera traps and DNA analysis, in addition to the physical evidence gathered by the foresters at ground level. But what will this count reveal? Our camera teams have been given unique access to film this process. They will travel thousands of miles across a hugely diverse landscape to tell the story of one of the world's biggest wildlife events. 